Creating photoreal characters is one of the most crucial things when it comes to image generation with AI. Achieving the results we are looking for can be oftentimes daunting or frustrating, since AI can be sometimes, well, not that accurate. <laughs> As a VFX artist and filmmaker myself, I'm always striving for the highest quality in my images. And this is where I stumbled upon Leonardo AI. Leonardo AI developed its image generation tool drastically and is now actually one of the best AI tools when it comes to creating realistic images. Here are some of the portraits I created with Leonardo AI in no time. And in this video, I will show you how you can achieve the same results. Besides that, I will also show you everything you need to know about the settings, the interface, prompt structures and much more. So let's dive right into it. So to get started in Leonardo AI, we have to start on their website. We can then actually just go on the top and we need to launch the app. So just click on the right top to and hit launch app. And once we reach the next site, we ha then have to create an account or log in if you have an account already. <laughs> okay, great. And once you are then logged in, we see the main website of Leonardo AI and their interface. And at first it can seem a bit overwhelming when we look at all those tabs and images that we see in front of us here. But for this video, because we want to create realistic characters, we will only focus on the image creation part. Let's go here to image creation, click on it, and then a new window will pop up. And here you can actually see we have different options we can choose from. So on the top, we can type in our prompt, which you might already know from Midjourney or other AI image generation tools. And on the bottom, we have our history of images that are created before. On the left side, we actually have different settings that we can choose from. And presets are basically just predetermined settings that Leonardo created for us already, so we don't have to type them in manually or set them manually. So for example, we have here something like anime, cinematic, kino, concept art, or also something called Leonardo Lightning, which is like the fastest model they have to generate images. For now, we will stick for, with the cinematic one because we want to create photorealistic characters in the end. For the preset style, this is set to cinematic automatically since we set the preset to cinematic kino. We don't have to change too much here. You see you have different options that you could choose here. Play around with them if you want, but for now we will stick with the cinematic one as well. For the contrast, I will also leave it to medium. Right now I don't need to change much there. Then actually we have another option here which is called generation mode. We can choose between fast and quality and they are basically saying what they're doing. So we with fast, we get faster results, but the quality will be not that high as when we choose quality, but the results will be a bit slower to generate the images itself. Also to note here is that you can use the fast mode for free, but the quality one you have to pay for. So just keep that in mind for now, since I want to show you first how you can create photo real characters with uh, the free version that you don't have to pay for it, we will choose the fast option here. Then below that we can choose image dimension. This is like the aspect ratio that we can choose in mid journey as well with the minus minus AR parameter. Here we can choose it right directly out of the interface, which I think is quite cool. And also we can choose our resolutions of the image that we want to have in the end. And then we have here a number of images. Of course you can choose here how many there should be generated. I leave it as the option to have four images generated for now. And then we have a private mode which basically means all the images that you generate you don't want to share with the public or the community with Leonardo AI. And then we have over here also advanced settings when we click it here and we have for example here uh, different AI models that we can choose from. I will also keep this as a default because this is all predetermined uh, from the preset setting that we have on the top. Besides that we also you can see right here on the top we have a legacy mode. This is basically it's just just another change of the interface that we have here. I would say a bit more advanced, but you see when we change it here, we can then see we have different options here, like even more than in the previous one. And uh, you can see that 
especially when you have the premium version or pay for Leonardo, you then have really nice options here that you can choose from. So this is exactly the same uh, interface as what we have here. Just this one is kept a bit more simple for first time using it. And we will stick mainly with this one, just coming later back to the legacy mode. But for now, we will stick to this one to keep it as simple as possible. All right, but now to create photorealistic character, we will first go back again and choose here our cinematic kino that we have here. Preset style, we can say, for example, here maybe a cinematic close up to really have this nice realistic look in the end. And for contrast, let's say maybe why not we can go with a high contrast. We will keep it for now for fast. We will change this in a sec and we will go 16 to 9, large for images. And for advanced settings, we will also keep it like this for now. And then what we will do is we will type in a new prompt and hit generate. All right, great. And the results I get, uh, we get, I think, are really promising already. So just look at this. And I mean, this is in the free version. So I think it's really stunning and impressive what we get here in terms of quality from Leonardo. And I think it's really nice. And this is just with the fast option. This is not even the quality one. So I think in terms of realism, Leonardo is doing a really great job here. And this is my personal way to get really this uh, kind of super realistic characters in Leonardo. And I hope it helps you to really crank out the quality that we want to have and to really have the highest quality and realism in our photos. We can then also go ahead and uh, try it with the quality one that we have over here. And my favorite way to do that is we have two options. We could go here and click on quality and then advanced settings and then set it here to photo real type in the prompt again and hit on generate. But I will show you now my personal most favorite way to do that, which is really amazing, I think, and works quite well. So we will go back here and leave our window actually that we have over here. And what we will do then is we see here uh, we have our community creations, also kind of like a mid journey with the mid journey com web page and what we will do then is we will navigate to photography because we want of course to have photo real characters and then we will go from trending to top and once we filter that we see the most incredible images which were liked by the community and for example this image here here looks super real and like a photo so what we can do now, and which is really great in Leonardo, we can just click on this image. And then there's a small button over here called generate with photo reel. And what it will do is actually take all those image uh, settings that we have over here, which were set already by this artist. And we can just <laughs> kind of copy them over that we have the same presets and then can work with our prompt as well. So just uh, click here and generate with photo reel and then we will end up again in our AI image generation tab and we have the settings already here enabled. So what we can do then is just type in our prompt again in here and actually then only thing we need to do is again hit generate and see what we get and once these are generated we can have a look at them and i mean yeah <laughs> just check this out i mean for me personally i have to say these are really like same or even better quality than what we get in mid journey with the minus minus style raw so i think this is really impressive and looks real like a photo or a photography of a woman in this case so I think this is really, really great. And Leonardo AI is really excelling on that. And um, yeah, I can recommend it to anyone and especially to you to just try it out and let me know how it works for you, how your experience are with it. Or if you also have any tips for Leonardo AI, what you can do to further improve it or your best prompts or whatever. <laughs> and um, one more thing that I wanted to show you. So let's say maybe we like this image here and we want to further upscale it because Leonardo AI is not just an image generator. We can do a lot more things with it, but we can even upscale it in Leonardo AI. So we can just click on this image and we see on the bottom here, we have different 
options that we can choose from. Of course, here is also the download image one. So just keep that in mind. If you want to download GVC, just click on this one and then it will be automatically downloaded. But we can also choose here. We have an Alchemy Smooth Upscale and an Alchemy Chris Upscale. And the left one, as far as I understood it, is more like for cartoony styles or illustrative ones. And the right one is really for photos or 3D renders or like really high realism photos. So we will choose, of course, this one because we have a high realistic photo. Just click on it. Okay, great. And this is then our result and our Alchemy Chris Upscale image. And we see we have even more now a little bit of more detail in her face itself. We can compare it with the original one. I think it's just subtle here. But I think we still see a bit of changes here in the texture and that it's a little bit more crisp, like it said in the description. So I think this is really great. And yeah, play around with it. And I'm curious what you are coming up with in the end. So all the things we learned today are great, but that you can take them really to the next level. We have to use AI upscalers. And I created a video recently about the top five AI upscalers that are out there at the moment. In case in case you have liked this video, please, of course, like always, like it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to just subscribe to this channel so I can keep doing what I'm doing right now. And actually, see you in the next video.